What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video on the game Apex Legends Mobile. Yes, so I promised to uh, keep you guys up to date with all of the latest news on Apex Legends Mobile and some new news has arisen. Tune into the rest of this video to find out exactly what new news I'm talking about. And before I go ahead, make sure you join my official Discord channel in the comments and the description. That is where you will find out all of the latest news about Apex Legends Mobile. So without further ado, be sure to subscribe, hit a like and let's get into it. Okay, so welcome back guys, and yes, I'm going to share with you some brand new news, um, basically on Apex Legends Mobile, which is uh, is very, very interesting. I came across this yesterday, and I really had to get a video out to show you guys. Now, I'm going to start with putting some gameplay in the background, and basically, there's an app that's called Tap Tap. Now, a lot of you guys will know what Tap Tap is. I'm going to show you a picture of it just here. It's basically a, the uh, Chinese version of sort of Google Play and the iOS store. Now, we've already figured out that the developers behind Apex Legends Mobile are Tencent, which is a Chinese company. So basically, we're going to see some brand new news that's actually on the Tap Tap app. Now, I'm going to start with this picture just here. If you actually go on to Tap Tap and search Apex Legends, uh, you're going to see a video just here. Uh, sorry, not a video, a page just here basically um, showing the uh, the app that is available to be pre-registered on uh, so you can pre-register on Android and iOS and as you can see already it's already got hundred and thirty seven thousand pre-registrations which is crazy and it's also got hundred and forty eight thousand followers now there's been a new post that's arisen on here um, just here and I'm gonna go into it I believe this post was posted by one of the developers so i'm going to show you some sort of uh, spiel just here and i'm going to read out exactly what it says now it says here remember that time when we wrote an april fool's prank about apex legends mobile uh, coming to mobile well as it turns out that joke wasn't completely based on falsehoods as in 2019 just after the game's launch ea announced that they were exploring other options for apex legends including crossplay which is confirmed already, crossplay between Switch, PC, and console. And uh, it says here across different platforms as well as a possible mobile version. However, at the time it was just an announcement, almost like a throwaway comment. Nevertheless, this piece of news came back to life not long ago after EA CEO Andrew Wilson mentioned in a video interview that they were looking at several launches for mobile games this year, including a quick mention of Apex Legends by the end of 2020. This little bit of news was shared in an interview with Touch Arcade and was a little more than passing comment, but it definitely revealed the EA's intentions for their popular free-to-play battle royale game, Apex Legends. So... I've already put out videos on this guy, so we already know it's confirmed. The only sort of details we want to find out now is when we can play it. So I'm going to continue. When is Apex Legends Mobile releasing? Now, even since Apex is launched, the devs have toyed with the idea of porting it to mobile, but these intentions were just thoughts and nothing concrete at the time. However, Wilson's comment in an aforementioned interview give the mobile version a possible soft launch date by the end of 2020, which means that we could play Apex Legends on mobile very, very soon. Now, here's where I didn't really like this uh, sort of comment on where it was going. It says here, and for those who are wondering, yes, we'll try our best to make it playable on Bluestacks. Though we must wait until further details are revealed before considering if it's even possible. If the developers are watching this right now at Respawn, I don't think you should make it available on Bluestacks. I know it's an APK, so it is going to be easily be able to put onto Bluestacks. But guys, if you didn't know what Bluestacks is, it's basically a PC emulator. So you're able to play mobile games using your mouse and keyboard on your PC with better graphics and much smoother. Um, I don't like this because I think it's unfair um, that mobile uh, sort of players get to be put up against PC players with mouse and keyboard. Some mobile players like me don't have a problem with it because we're very good on mobile, but some people that aren't, especially small kids, um, going up against PC players, it just takes the fun out of the game because they just get destroyed, and it's just a really big unfair advantage. So in the comments, guys, let me know if you think it's a good idea for them to port um, sort of a Bluestacks version of Apex Legends Mobile. 
Okay, now next. However, Wilson was very specific about the mobile version release. He mentioned that they weren't, uh, they were working on a soft launch by the end of the year, which means it is very likely that we won't get the finished product just yet. It's common for these types of launches to feature very limited content compared to the final release, as well as being restricted to certain regions. The EA CEO also said that they were studying the potential of the mobile release and mentioned that Asia was a very valuable market for these types of games. Our best bet is that the game will release in a few Asian countries, followed by a global release sometime in 2021. Now, I've gone over this in a few videos before, guys. I'm predicting the soft launch to be released sometime around November this year. The global release is going to be released a few months after that, January, February or March. Now, again, with the coronavirus, it's very hard because they've already confirmed in their interview um, and their quarterly meeting on the 30th of July last month that most of their employees are working from home. And as you can imagine, guys, trying to make a game like this from home, from your own computer and your own sort of um, sort of accessible stuff, it's very, very hard to do. So. Again, I think that's still going to happen. The soft launch is going to come November and the actual global launch is going to come January, February, March. Now, the soft launch is going to be released in Asian countries first. Doesn't mean we're not going to be able to play it. Means that we'll probably have to use some type of VPN just to play the game, um, which isn't a problem. We're still going to have our hands on it. It's going to be very laggy, but towards the global release, that's when you're going to get the NA in the EU regions. Nevertheless, the dev team still have a few hurdles to overcome if they want to put Apex Legends on mobile, such as making the game fair for those players who are playing on their phones with touchscreens. Since they mentioned the game will have crossplay between the different platforms, one of the main challenges is balancing it so that mobile users aren't at an inherent disadvantage against those who are playing with a mouse and keyboard. Now, that's what I covered before, guys. Now, we're going to get on to crossplay. I don't know if mobile Apex Legends is going to be able to play with PC and console. I want you guys to let me know in the comments if you want that, okay? Because, I, again, it is good because it, you get to play more players, you get to play with your friends who have a PC and don't play on mobile. But it's not good because it is a big unfair advantage, especially for... PC players, they will absolutely destroy mobile players. We've seen it in previous games. Fortnite Mobile did the exact same. And as you can see by that, a lot of PC players just destroy mobile players. Um, so let me know in the comments if you think it's a good idea for them to crossplay between mobile and PC and console. The second challenge, and the toughest one in our opinion, is making the game run smoothly across all mobile devices. Those who play on PC will have a large advantage over their mobile counterparts since they can run their games at high and stable frame rate if Apex isn't properly optimized for phones. Now, we all know that Tencent's making this game. They are very good at optimizing game files. So in the game settings for any Tencent games you play like Call of Duty Mobile, you'll see a lot of different graphic settings. You can set it to low, medium, high, very high, super high, the frame rate, very high, super high, very low. Um, there's a lot of different customizations and I think they're going to do the same with this game because we all know how big the Apex Legends map on PC is. It's very big. There's a lot of game files and there's a lot of stuff. Um, basically, most mobile games usually run at 60 FPS. Who knows, some mobile games can go up to 120 FPS, so I think that would be really cool if they could actually make this game 120 FPS, because then it will be able to run the game much smoother. Obviously, for you guys that have got low-end devices, it's going to be quite laggy for you, but again, it's Tencent making it, so I really believe this game should be fine. I think it's going to be very optimized. I think we're going to have stable frame rates. And I think it's going to be a really good optimized game. It's going to be able to compete, like I've said before, with Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile, those sort of genres of games. Okay, lastly, this combination of elements generates a truly unique experience that you simply don't get in other battle royales. While games like PUBG and Warzone are a bit more strategic thanks to their very different types of loadout options and Fortnite relies heavily on its building mechanics, Apex Legends is fast-paced, chaotic and with much more action from a very second you land on the map. Furthermore, the ample roster of playable characters gives you a lot of variety to the game with their different skills, passives, unique animations and gameplay styles. This is totally true guys apex is a total different different experience you're gonna have a lot more fun and a lot more engagement playing apex on mobile and next we're just gonna get into the character well obviously i'm gonna go through the characters we have so far we have wraith we have bloodhound we have gibraltar pathfinder bangalore 
Octane, Caustic, Lifeline, Crypto, Loba, Revenant, and Watson. So we have a lot of characters already. Now, if you guys didn't see the Season 6 trailer, I'm going to show you that now. It's only a short minute long trailer, but it basically highlights a brand new character. So I'm going to let you guys watch this. Check it out. to dance are you hey, yeah i can dance <laughs> who's sheila <laughs> <laughs> did you guys see it Yes, we have a brand new character coming called Rampart. She looks insane. She's basically, some of her abilities, she's got this big sort of turret minigun that she can set up, which looks incredible. Uh, I think she's going to be a game changer in the game. I think it's going to be very OP. So we're definitely going to have new characters, guys. And hopefully we're going to get some sort of new map changes as well. Because Apex obviously has got the same two maps it's had for a while now. Maybe we'll get a third map. Who knows? But... Basically, guys, that is the end of today's video. That is the only new news I have of Apex Legends Mobile. Other good news, I do have a contact that actually works on the Unity engine that's going to be creating some of the game files and actually showing us more of the map, what it would look like on a mobile device. So stay tuned for future videos and to see some more news on Apex Legends Mobile. If this has been a help to you guys, I would really appreciate it if you could just subscribe. Hit a like on this video and uh, drop a comment down below and let me know what's, uh, what you think about this. But that's going to be the end, guys. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully we get some more news soon. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.